Now that the state's new policy banning migrant families from sleeping at Logan Airport is in effect, nonprofits are really busy trying to help them find shelter. WBZ Spets Romano spoke to volunteers who have a message for migrants who are coming to Massachusetts. I said to the governor's office, please reach out to me if you need any help with um, transitioning families. And that's what Gladys Vega did, coming to Logan Airport last night with a call from a state trooper to help two families who arrived as the state closed down what had been an impromptu sleeping space. So for example, the family last night didn't have, the little boy was wet, and I immediately came here and got some of the clothes. She's been bracing for it at La Collaborativa in Chelsea, which has been ready with sleeping spaces and essentials. But there's now added pressure for families with no place else to go, and Vega is sending a message that's difficult. If you don't have a plan, if you don't have a family member that awaits you, if you don't have a job that is waiting for you, Massachusetts is not the right place to come anymore. And that's difficult uh, for you to say. Of course it is. Vega calls it a humanitarian crisis with the state's shelters at capacity. And the governor saying Logan Airport can no longer be an option where dozens of families were camping out days at a time, including this 31-year-old woman from Haiti who speaks through an interpreter and doesn't want to be identified. That was not what I expected. No, I spent the whole night. No, not, no, I couldn't sleep and just like, you know, uh, reflecting on the journey. A several months journey to reach Massachusetts and finally getting a space at the former correctional facility in Norfolk. It was not the best. It was never. Dr. Gerald Gabo no, saw the airport as only a place of desperation for families. And now nonprofits like Immigrant Family Services in Mattapan are figuring out how to step up even more. Yes, it's challenging. Yes, it's difficult. But does that mean that we have to close all doors? I don't think so. So that's the reason why my call is to everyone who can come and help to do so. The organizations say they expect more migrant families will be showing up at their doorsteps when they arrive here and find this section of Terminal E is no longer accessible as an overnight sleeping space. At Logan Airport, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News.